This hadith ultimately is about the many ways that one can do good. It's a wonderful number of hadiths in the 40 around this topic. The many different paths to good. The many different paths to God's pleasure. And what's interesting about this hadith is the word charity. And I've kept the word charity in, although this is not actually the meaning. Some people from amongst the companions of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said to the Prophet O Messenger of Allah ذَهَبَ أَهْلُ الدُّثُورِ بِالْأُجُورِ In Arabic it's much more eloquent ذَهَبَ أَهْلُ الدُّثُورِ بِالْأُجُورِ The affluent have gone forth, they've taken all the rewards and gone. Why? They pray like we pray. They fast like we fast. But they've got loads of money so they can give charity out of their excess wealth and we can't. Ya Rasulullah, how can we match them? This is the question. Ya Rasulullah, how can we match them? Allah has not gifted us with wealth. Had He gifted us with wealth, we also would have given in charity, but we can't. Okay? And this is why the Prophet said, although what this hadith is about is doing acts of goodness, and the word sadaqa, charity in this hadith, means that which earns the same reward as charity. That's what the ulama explained that when he says charity, it means every subhanallah gives you the same reward as charity. Every alhamdulillah gives you the same reward as charity. That's what the Prophet is saying. Okay? But he, he's not, he doesn't use that, that's what he means, but he doesn't use that word. He uses the word charity because charity is what the hang up was. This is the inayah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa This is the concern that he had. Shaykh Ridwan was mentioning earlier on that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa chose his words very carefully. He chose his words to have a particular effect, to soothe people's hearts.